I hope you clicked on today's video because you want to learn how to make this super cute in the hoop project. So before we jump right into this tutorial, I want to say thank you so much to Jess from Oak La Roots and to Melissa from Designs by Little B. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be working on these super cute in the hoop projects that were digitized just for you by Melissa over at Designs by Little B. Hey there, it's Melissa from Designs by Little B. I was thrilled to do a collaboration with Shayna from Krauss Creations and Jess from Okla Roots on a sewing machine hand sanitizer case. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Today we're working on this in the hoop project by Designs by Little B and it's four by four friendly. It's an in the hoop project and let's just go jump right into it. But first before we do that, I wanna say hello to my creators. I wanna say hello to Jess's friends, which are the Okla Rudies. And I wanna say hi to Melissa's friends, which are the Beehive. So welcome, welcome to Crouch Creations. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, I provide you value by bringing you creative tutorials and small business advice. If if you're new to this channel and you like what you've seen so far, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you're not really ready yet, that's totally okay. Watch the tutorial and then make the decision if you want to hit that red subscribe button. Hitting that red subscribe button is a free way that you can help support my channel. Today's tutorial would not even happen today if it wasn't for either of these ladies. So I want to say thank you to Jess for agreeing to collaborate with me today. Oh my gosh. Hey there creators! Whenever Jess said yes that she was down for the collaboration, I was so freaking mind blown. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so awesome. She makes all the things. She sews, she quilts, she embroiders. She also has a multi-needle embroidery machine. She literally does all the things, okay? She literally does all the things things okay so if you haven't already visited Jess's channel of course her channel is going to be linked down below so the matching part to this hand sanitizer case is going to be featured on Jess's channel she is making the sewing machine lip balm cases which are key fobs as well so make sure that you do head on over to her channel which will be linked down below I'm going to save this several times Hey there creators, I'm Jess from Oakla Roots and I'm working with Shayna today to do a little collaboration. We're going to be making some of these little awesome lip balm holders over on my YouTube channel. I know Shayna's going to show you guys how to make the sanitizer holders. These are such fun designs. I love putting sewing machines on everything. I bet you guys do too. Jess's information is going to be linked down below. So do not forget to go check her out. Don't forget to follow her on social media. She has an Instagram. It's called Jess Okla Roots, which will be linked down below. Um, oh my gosh, like, ah, I'm like fangirl right. Ah, get it together. Get it together. Gain your composure. Okay, Shana, you got this. Okay, so let's just get back on track. I'm a little over here. I'm a little over there. I'm sorry. Okay, so Jess makes all the things. If you are into bag making, if you are into quilting, if you're into Disney, okay, you need to go check her out. Okay, her channel is called Jess Okla Roots. And don't forget to follow her on Instagram because she is so serious about her Instagram stories. Thank you, Jess, again. Okay, and a special thank you to Melissa from Designs by Little B. She also has a YouTube channel. She has a Facebook group and she has an Instagram, which all will be linked down below. So please make sure that you watch it. So originally when Jess and I linked up and we were talking about what project did we want to bring to our communities, we wanted to do something different. So I thought of my favorite digitizer, which is Melissa, and I reached out to her and I shot her my idea and she just loved it so she was all about it so she hooked us up with this applique sewing machine hand sanitizer case she made the key fobs that we're going to be showing you today she made the lip balm cases that we're going to be showing you today so please stick around it's going to be a good time All right, so let's just jump right into it. The first hoop that we're gonna be using is the original hoop that came with the Baby Lock Valiant, the multi-needle machine. This is a four x four friendly project. 
And then we're gonna hop into this larger hoop right here. This is the size eight by nine Mighty Hoop. While using our size eight by nine Mighty Hoop today, we're gonna be able to fit four projects into one hooping. Along with this Mighty Hoop size, we're gonna be using the Mighty Hoop back. And I'll show you guys how to secure the stabilizer using this. Beautiful pink glitter vinyl, white marine vinyl, your preference of any type of tearaway stabilizer. And this is Melissa's favorite. It is chalkboard fabric from Joann's. The three tools that you're gonna need to complete this project, all you'll need is a pair of sharp scissors. The hardware that we're gonna use on this project is called 3 16 size eyelets. This is just from Amazon. I'll show you guys how to install those. And we're gonna use this crocodile to set the eyelets. You put your eyelet and your fabric right in here and these teeth just press it closed. And additionally to that part right here, if you just move this blue toggle right here, it also punches holes in very thick leathers. So the first thing I like to do is prepare our stabilizers. We're gonna hoop the 8x9 Mighty Hoop first. The side of the Mighty Hoop that has any kind of signage, such as warning or made in the USA, make sure that the side that has any kind of notifications on it is the side that goes down towards your table. All right, so that's your back of your Mighty Hoop here. And you know that it's on the right side because this is the bumpy side. This is what's going to grip to your stabilizer. Go ahead and place your stabilizer right on top of that. This is your Mighty Hoop back. It's used to keep your stabilizer in place. All you're going to do is just going to put it right on top of it. press it in. That's it. All right. So you got your back, your mighty hoop. You got your mighty hoop back. Now, normally it would be time for you to place the fabric on top and then put your mighty hoop top, you know, the top holder on top. But since this is an in the hoop key fob project, there's really no need to actually have to hoop all of this glitter vinyl. So basically what we're going to do is we're just only going to be hooping stabilizer today. Since this is an in the hoop project, all I need to hoop are our stabilizers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Don't forget to take this part off. Okay. You're not going to go to your embroidery machine with the backer on.
So now both of our hoops, our 4x4 hoop and our 8x9 hoop are both stabilized. Now all we're going to do is we're going to measure the fabric. Those look good. This is the front of the sanitizer case. The back of the sanitizer case is going to be the chalkboard fabric. The front, right here. The front of the sanitizer cases is the beautiful pink glitter vinyl, and the back, like that, is going to be the chalkboard fabric. I already have some scrap white marine vinyl, so there's no need to cut it out. This is going to be used for the sewing machines. So there's going to be a little white sewing machine on this case, and there's going to be four sewing machines because we're doing four sanitizer cases in this hooping. So I don't need to cut that right now, but we're going to be using this scrap piece for it. All right, creators, so now we're at the embroidery machine. I went ahead and skipped the original placement stitch, so now we're just going to go ahead and start. We're right now we're tacking down the section that'll let you know where to put the white fabric for the sewing machine. We can place our four fabrics down. This is for the sewing machine applique.
So now it's time for my huge announcement. Instead of me just talking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the clip that I uploaded to my Facebook group because I just wanna share it with you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can find the Facebook group at Krauss Creations Creator VIP and I'll have that link down below. So I hope that you do decide to join my Facebook group. It's a place for all people creative. Hello creators and good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm just jumping on here to say I wanted to thank you guys so much for being a part of the community. I really appreciate your guys' support. It's overwhelming. The YouTube channel is growing. The Facebook channel is growing. The Instagram page is growing and I wouldn't be where I am today without you. Okay, so the reason why I'm jumping on here today is because I wanted to share the secret with you guys. So tomorrow's video that is going to be uploaded on Thursday, um, I said that I'm going to post a mighty announcement. So since you guys are part of my Facebook group, I wanted to let you know that Mighty Hoops has provided you, you creators, a coupon code to use whenever you guys purchase anything through the phone number. Okay, so Mighty Hoops has a phone number to order the hoops, right? So that number will be posted in the description down below. But I wanted to release it to my creators a day early that if you use my coupon code, then you will get free shipping. So nobody else offers free shipping except two YouTube creators. So I am one of the two YouTube creators and the other person is Miss Angela Jasmina. I had to hit her up the other day and let her know like, hey, you are dominating this industry. So if you guys aren't already following her channel, her page is Angela Jasmina. So she has started from scratch and has worked her way up the ladder in the home embroidery business. So she offers a free shipping code as well. So you'll have to go check out her videos and her description to find out what her coupon code is. But I just like it's so it's such a huge milestone to me that there's only two YouTube creators that are off that are able to offer their viewers free shipping. So Mighty Hoops believes in us that much much that they are providing you creators a code for free shipping and it just blows my mind that people are just so excited about Krauss Creations that are reaching out to me like this so the phone number like if you want to like let's say you want to order an 8x9 Mighty Hoop you'll call the phone number listed down below and then you'll let them know that the coupon code is Kraus Creations. All the representatives over at Mighty Hoops already know the coupon code. They're ready to roll. So they're um, hoping that um, there's no confusion or anything like that. Just let them know Kraus Creations is the coupon code and who doesn't love to save money on shipping? I know we're all a part of like Amazon Prime because we don't even want to pay like $2 in shipping. So Oh my gosh, thank you guys for being a part of the creators uh, community. Feel free to reach out to me, ask me any questions, and I hope you had time to watch this video. Bye!
Melissa. This design is so adorable. Thank you so much for making this for me and Jess. We love it. All right, back to the machine, guys.
but this is the black blackboard fabric right here and then we have two pieces of painters tape you can go ahead and remove your hoop you see the back of your project you're gonna go ahead and put your blackboard fabric down and all you're doing is taping it on I'm just using blue painters tape Go ahead and hoop your project back up and hit start. So I scooted the camera back a little bit because I wanted you to be able to see the finished project in the hoop. So in this 8x9 Mighty Hoop, we were able to fit four sanitizer holders. And then this is what the back looks like. Easy peasy. And the painter's tape, you could easily just rip it off or you could take it off when you head to the table to go cut out your pieces. So let's go do that now. So we just came from the embroidery machine. We have our four sanitizer cases still in the hoop. All you have to do, put your thumb here, which is the nub piece here on the bottom of the Mighty Hoop. Just put your thumb here. These are two little placements for your finger. All you have to do, put your hands together and pull apart like this. For the sake of time, I'm only going to cut out one of these cases. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Welcome to my channel if you hopped on over here from Jess's channel. I welcome all the Oakla Rudies to Cross Creations. And whenever I'm cutting the design out right now, I'm just leaving a tiny little gap between the bean stitch and my scissors. You don't want to cut too close to the bean stitch because you don't want to cut into the bean stitch on accident. Oh, that's super cute. Let me get my snips real quick.
These are my favorite snips. I know you guys seen them a million times. These are the Havel Snip Ease. I have a video on this channel from like two years ago when I recorded my favorite, but I was an amateur YouTuber back then and it's like super, the white balance is way off. So I'll have to record a updated version. But these are the ones that they stay static on my sewing machine. So if I ever need to snip anything real quickly on my sewing machine, it's already there. But you guys already know that because you've seen all my goods. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. If you look at the back, if you're looking at the back of the fob and you happen to see any tails or anything like that, that's not gonna hurt your project at all. But for the aesthetic of it, if you don't like it, just go ahead and get your snips and snip them off. Some people do like to get a lighter and burn it off. You could do that too. Oh my gosh, so far it's so cute. Before we get to punching any holes, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is going to look like. So you have your mini one ounce sanitizer. And this is the fob that we just made. All you're going to do, you open it up. You just stick it right in there. It fits perfectly. Oh my gosh, I love this. Seriously, Melissa. Oh my gosh. And then the opening at the bottom that we cut out allows you to just open your sanitizer. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and start on the super cute, tiny little sewing machine key fobs. All right, let's go for it. No matter how seasoned you are, you want to make sure that you trace your design.
All right. So the machine's telling us that all of our steps are completed. So we completed the front part of our four tiny sewing machines. This is what the back looks like. So if you have any tails or anything like that that you want to go ahead and remove from your project, you can go ahead and do that now. All right. So you're going to turn your hoop over. So this is the back of the hoop. So you remember those two pieces of painter's tape that we were using earlier for the project? I'm going to go ahead and reuse those same two pieces of painter's tape. The black piece of chalkboard fabric that we cut out earlier. We're going to go ahead and place that on the back. Make sure when you put your backing fabric on that it's covering up any of the stitches. So you don't want to see any exposed stitches at this point. So you're just going to go ahead and put that right there on the back. Put a piece of painter's tape. Some people like to use 505 spray. That's totally okay if you want to do that. I like to use painter's tape. So this is what your project looks like right now. You have your tiny little sewing machines and on the back you want to have the right side out. So this is the ugly side. You want to have the ugly side to ugly side like this and just go ahead and stick it right back on your machine. And go ahead and push start on your machine. Go ahead and unhoop your project. Can you even believe how cute these turned out? Like, I cannot even. So, we have our four tiny little sewing machine. This is what the back looks like. If you have any loose tails or anything like that, you could just take your little snips and handle that right up. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's go ahead and head on over to the cutting table so I can show you how to cut those out. All right, creators. So, now we're back at the cutting table. So we just finished our In The Hoop project, which was Designs by Little Bees Tiny Sewing Machine Key Fob that you see here. This is what the back looks like. We still have our painter's tape. We haven't removed it yet. That's what we're gonna do next. And the only supplies that you're gonna need for cutting out um, any of your marine vinyl, I like to use these Fiskars sharp tip scissors. And then my, and my favorite little snips are these Havels Snippies. Whenever I'm getting down in there and I'm trying to remove any loose threads or anything like that, I'll always turn to these little pair of Snippies. The brand is Havels. So if you see, let me see if I can see a little loose thread. So you can barely see it, but right here, there's a tiny little loose thread right there. All you're gonna do is take your little snips and that'll take care of it right there. So for this part, all you need is some scissors. So you can go ahead and remove your painter's tape, unhoop it, for the sake of time we're only going to be cutting out one of these fobs today, so let's get right to it. I'm just leaving a tiny little space between my scissors and the final bean stitch. I'm 
Oh my goodness. Look at how cute this tiny little key fob is. Oh my goodness. So this is the progress that we've made on our In The Hoop projects today. We have our sewing machine hand sanitizer case and then we have this tiny little sewing machine key fob. So now I'm going to show you guys how to poke holes into it. The tool that I will always turn to is called the Cropodile and this is what it looks like. This part right here, this is kind of like pliers. and it has like rotating parts here, so you'll have to read your directions to see which um, combination because there's numbers and there's letters. At the crop of the top of dial, you'll see right here, this is the part that controls the pliers. Right here, you can cut a hole that is 1 8 and here you can cut a hole that's 3 16 3 16 is my favorite. So we're going to go ahead and move it there. So for the sanitizer case, I'm going to poke a hole right there in the center. And then for this tiny little fob, I'm going to poke a hole right there. I'll go slow. Do you see right here where the hole punch is engaging? I'll go really slow so you can see it. It's basically like a heavy duty hole pincher. All right. So just go ahead and stick your fob right in there. Okay. And... Stick your feet fob right in there. Make sure it's centered. Poke your hole. You can put your crop dial off to the side. We're done using that for today. Here's your here's your tiny little fob with the hole poked in it. And here we have our hand sanitizer case with the hole punched into it. Can you guys believe that we made this today? Isn't this so cute? It's so fast, so easy, so cute. Oh my gosh. And I just love the color combinations. This glitter vinyl. Oh my gosh. Okay. So... You guys know that I love to label everything. I'm all about organization. So the eyelets that we're gonna be using today are size 3 16 eyelets. And I purchased this on Amazon and I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested. This is what it looks like and let's see. Okay, so I don't know what the proper terminology of these eyelets are, but basically there's one that looks like this, and then there's another one that looks like a circle. And what you're going to do is you're going to have this part right here, and you're just going to place the circle on top of it, but the fabric's going to be in between it, and then that's where you're going to crunch closed all right basically that's how you're gonna set it so let me just show you guys what i'm talking about because it kind of sounds crazy go ahead and grab your crop dial you're gonna go ahead and change the settings so before the setting that we were on was on the hole puncher setting now we're gonna move it forward here to where it's the pliers part go ahead you have your tiny little fob you're gonna put your eyelet we're just pushing the eyelet right into it so this is what it looks like so far. All right, so you're gonna take the circle part of the eyelet and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it on top of it, just like that, all right? Go ahead and grab your sanitizer case. We're going to do the exact same thing. So 
So for this little key fob, you're only going to need one set of eyelets. But for this right here, you're going to need two set of eyelets because we want to secure this hole right here. And then we also want to secure the hole on the back, okay? So, whoop, it ran off. Go ahead. This is what it looks like. I'm going to try to do it up close for you guys. Just take your eyelet. You're going to stick it in the hole here. And then this is the little circle piece. You're just going to take this circle piece and put it right on top, just like that. Okay. I'm not going to do it to both right this second because I want to go ahead and secure this part here. I want to secure this part so that it doesn't fall off and then we can go ahead and do that second part. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. This part right here, the one that you put the little circle on, that's going to be facing down. Having a hard time picking up the circle part. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. All right. And you're just going to put the circle piece right on there. Go back to the punch. They both came out perfect. Now you get this little guy and we're just gonna go ahead and take him over to the punch too. There, wow. Super cute, oh my goodness. to tell you guys about these guys. These are called split rings. All right, let me grab a sanitizer. You have your sanitizer, you have your sanitizer case. All you're gonna do is slide it right in there. Look how perfectly that fits. Look at that. Look how cute this is. Your sanitizer opens just like that. I have two different sizes of split rings. So the smaller split ring I'm gonna be using for the tiny little fob and then the larger size split ring I'm gonna be using for the sanitizer case. What I like about this particular design is that this pocket is like a true full pocket. Your sanitizer is not going to be falling out of here, especially if you have this on your keychain, because the split ring basically secures it in there. So yes. So check this out. We just finished our hand sanitizer case and our super cute key fob.
So, all right, we're all done with the tutorial. I want to say thank you so much to the creators. I want to say thank you so much to the Okla Rudies. And I want to say thank you much to the Beehive. I appreciate all you guys coming together. We're all helping support one another. If you hop on over to any of these ladies' channels, which if you hop on over to Jess's channel, please make sure that you say that you came over here from Shana's channel. If you hop on over to Melissa's channel, please let her know that you hopped on over here from Shana's channel. I really want them to know that the creators love them as much as I love you guys. Thank you so much Shayna for letting me be part of your channel today. I have had such a good time making this video. I have had such a fun time communicating with you over the last few weeks. If you want to check out my channel I'm sure Shayna will put a link somewhere down in the description down below. I'm so happy to meet you guys. Have so much fun making all these adorable projects. Bye! And a final thank you to the men and women over at Mighty Hoop. I'm so thankful for all the support that you provided to Cross Creations. I can't wait to share my new toys with the creators. Bye!